All right, ladies and gents, this is the next diagnosis project. It's a 89 F350 with a 7.3 liter diesel. And it's kind of a cool truck. It's got a nice big flatbed on it. Um, you know, it's ready for some sort of work. Tires are pretty decent on it. And so what it's doing, which I didn't film it before I took things apart, it is uh, front starts up great, drives great, but anytime you you know push in the clutch to roll to a stop, it wants to stall. If you rev it up when it's in neutral, you can rev it up great, but when it comes down to idle, it just stalls. So the first thing we're doing is changing the air cleaner, which is pretty filthy, and changing our fuel water separator and. Uh, Already got it off Went and picked up the parts I needed. And uh, as you can see, if that's any indication of what the fuel slash water was looking like in here, you can see it is just absolutely nasty. Um, see all that debris? Here. All that debris is. Uh, was in there and that's in fact that's not even all of it so what we're going to do first actually so it's the old fuel water separator we've got a new cheaper one and then a new good one which they're, they're both okay mixes whatever so i'm going to clean this uh, bowl up install it to the microguard we're going to run it for a good while kind of make sure see what happens and then because the fuel was so filthy I'm going to change that after a little bit and put this one on for good. And then, of course, here's our air, air filter. So those are the numbers for it. And then we're also going to treat the fuel, some of this stuff. So and if it still does it, then we're going to start looking at uh, there's a solenoid that uh, controls the fuel flow. It might be kicking off somehow for some reason. Here's what's the other part of it. Look at that. Just nasty. So we'll see if it needs more diagnosis. I'm hoping this kind of does it. Um, and then we are right in the middle of our uh, winch project for the big, the 08 F350. And here's all the bolts that we're doing for it. These all came in the kit. And then my dad went and picked up some uh, nylock nuts just to kind of beef up the installation a little bit. So, all right, well, I'm gonna, Get this bowl cleaned up. Probably not gonna film it. Uh, as you see, it basically rusted to part of it. So I'm just gonna remove this O-ring, clean everything out, and then lightly just smooth everything out so it spins on the new one pretty nicely. So but yeah, of course this unscrew from here. And this screwed up into that thing. And of course, uh, depending on how much I film, just want to make sure that the underside of this is nice and clean, and then uh, prime it, prime everything according to uh, you know vehicle manufacturer recommendations. But should be able to turn the key a couple times, and I think it's a mechanical pump, so I think I'll have to crank it. But um, some of these, I haven't worked on a lot of diesels, but some of these can be pretty tricky if you don't. If you get some air in the system or something like that so anyways i haven't worked on the diesels too much but pretty nice little rig so all right let's do all this stuff and see if it stalls okay here we are we have the microguard again it's uh 33217 um we're gonna put this cheap one on cheaper one less expensive excuse me and oh, uh, where's the? Okay, good. Thought I looked for it and I knew I'd seen it. So, so we got this all cleaned out. Um, let me restart. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. So, got it all cleaned up. Um, this is the water sensor, which I hope I didn't damage it with brake clean. Um, got everything cleaned up. It's well oxidized. I'm not going to worry about. In fact, I might scrape more of this oxidation out, but 
Got the ch O-ring channel all cleaned up. And of course, um, this would be the open to drain. And then uh, this would be closed. So I might need to spray this. This looks a little bit terrible. I don't want there to be a huge amount of rust and whatnot already forming. Huh? Right. Cool, I'm getting all this stuff. Uh, I probably shouldn't have used brake clean. Right. I'm liking a little WD 40 in here just to kind of. I should be using just diesel fuel. But I'm just going to kind of get everything. I don't want it to sit there and. I think that was just oxidation. I don't know if it was just there already. I'm assuming it was. Here we go. We're good to go. We're good to go. Let me scrape this. Sorry. It's going to get all oh, the little. It's not a big deal. It really isn't, but. Did a good job. All right. So, I'm going to use a little silicone grease, just a tad bit. Put that on the O-ring itself, install it, and then uh, just a little, a little bit on the threads. And again, not a big deal. This thing should go in pretty nicely. I think technically you should be using a little diesel, a little bit of diesel fuel for this, but you know, it's not a big deal. All right, so the O-ring stays in a little bit. Get her set there. All right, and then with this, of course, I'm already seated with the O-ring. I'm probably just gonna really give it to it I'm with my hand. I don't think I'm gonna try to use a tool. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you what, that is tight. All right, now. I'm going to lube this with diesel fuel, um, and then we're going to put it on. In fact, let's go over there right now. Uh. Uh. Okay. Let's see if we can get a good angle here. this out a little bit. Not a big deal, but some stuff in there. Yeah, certainly get the debris out. The debris. And then that is gonna be good for now. You just wanna make sure now it's on the inside. Oh, 
creepers. Creepers. Just a pain in the butt, you know? All right, now, I, if, I wish I had some diesel. I probably should have primed this fuel filter. Um, I don't. So, I'm just gonna go for it. Hey guys, let's crank it up. Wish I could get a good view of the show. My stand is just not very fun. All right, I hope it doesn't spray. Here's my, it's my phone that I'm using. <laughs> actually got diesel he lives in my neighborhood so let me get some diesel uh take this off fill it up hopefully i've not uh cavitated some crap or something good lord we got the gasoline guy got the, ga got the diesel noob here <laughs> all right guys let's figure it out i didn't get these batteries on the charger all right over now all right y'all finally got it started Cranking, cranking, cranking. Uh, I was able to mess with that uh, Schrader valve here. Basically, it, uh, right here. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I did both where I had it cracked open and I cranked it. And then I, I noticed the fuel, the fuel separator really filled up. And then I plugged it and I cranked it and then I would leave the Schrader valve plugged in. Um, but after it was sitting, I kind of popped the tappet to let out even more air. So along with some WD-40 down the throat of the, the intake, of course, air. Um, got it started. I got weak batteries and it's still wants to stall so before I shut it down let me show you what it's doing 
So it runs great, you know, rev it up a little bit. Up to two, it barely keeps it. Oh, see, it just doesn't know what to do. Doesn't know what to do when it comes down from RPM. So, first thing we're gonna do is an electrical check to the fuel. And it's, it's gotta be something going on there unless on deceleration, it's, on deceleration I'm getting a, uh, an air leak possibly because when on deceleration is the highest amount of vacuum in the gasoline engine at least so huh. all right ladies and gents this thing is getting delivered we're gonna change the fuel water separator one more time after it starts to get driven more The issue was it stalling, coming to a stop. When pushing in the clutch or when revving it up, it would stall and it was most likely a little metering valve. It got gummed up and all nastied up from sitting, so.